morning children and welcome back to our online classes today we are going to learn more about adjectives in our first video we would be learning what an adjective is and the kinds of adjectives so let's begin so let's recall what we have learnt in our previous class about the adjectives okay in our in our previous classes we have learnt that an adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun for example if i say jane is a clever girl so clever is an adjective and it describes jane so let's now modify that in this class what uh, what is the actual definition of an adjective that we are going to learn is it a word which just describes a noun or the definition is modified adjectives define identify or add quality to a noun or pronoun they appear with it just not only describes the noun but it also identifies it and it defines it okay not just a noun but the pronoun also for example she is a kind lady in this sentence the lady has been described as kind okay the lake is beautiful okay now the lake is a noun which has been described as beautiful sundarbans is the largest mangrove forest okay so here uh, the mangrove forest has been described as the largest one and the next example he lives in a large house okay so here the house has been described as large and i am lucky so i has been described as being lucky so this is this is how we should we need to understand that the adjectives either come before a noun or sometimes after a noun what are the different types of adjectives proper adjectives descriptive adjectives quantitative adjectives numeral adjectives demonstrative adjectives distributive adjectives interrogative adjectives and possessive adjectives so let's now learn in detail about these adjectives when i talk about a proper adjective what is the definition of a proper adjective proper adjectives are words that modify nouns and pronouns and proper adjectives are formed by from the proper noun so you can form a proper adjective from a proper noun so in this sentence shakespeare wrote many plays about kings and queens so shakespeare wrote many plays about kings and queens okay so in and the, this sentence let's have a look at this sentence lawrence olivier was a celebrated shakespearean actor now let's understand which word is a noun and which is an adjective now shakespeare as we all know is a noun therefore shakespeare is in this sentence a proper noun and lawrence olivier is also a noun in the next sentence so shakespeare and lawrence olivier are proper nouns now this proper noun has been converted into a proper adjective now the actor has been described as shakespearean so the word shakespearean which is a proper adjective now has been derived from the proper noun shakespeare so proper adjectives are are uh derived from the proper nouns the next category is the descriptive adjectives okay what are descriptive adjectives descriptive adjectives are words that describe nouns or pronouns this is how we need to remember they describe nouns or pronouns for example monica said this is a great game so the game has been described as being great okay so here great is a descriptive adjective 
now the third category of adjectives that we are going to learn is quantitative adjectives. So, what is the definition of a quantitative adjective? Quantitative adjectives are words that qualify a noun or pronoun by quantity. So, descriptive adjectives describe the noun quality of the noun. Now, here the quantity of the noun is being described. So, these quantitative adjectives they answer the question how much. This how much is being answered here. Okay. Now, let us look at an example. There was no milk left in the jug. So, here no is the descriptive adjective, uh, uh, quantitative adjective because it tells about the quantity that is there in the jug. No milk, no quantity. There were many pens on the table. So, the number of pens, quantity of uh, pens on the table that is many pens were there on the table. So, the quantitative adjectives talk about the quantity of a noun or a pronoun. Numerical adjectives. So, when the quantity is told in terms of numbers, okay, then you call it as a numerical adjectives. These numbers not only describe the quantity and number of the things, but also sometimes they talk about the position of that noun in a, a group. Okay. So, they tell us not only how much are, it also tells us in what order the noun is in. So, the, the we can uh, talk about the, uh, the definition of a quantitative, uh, uh, the numerical adjective as a numerical adjective are words that describe the number of nouns that are being This numerical adjective are words that describe the number of nouns or order of nouns being described. These adjectives tell us how many or how much or what order the noun is in. For example, if I if you see here I have three brothers. Okay, here three gives the number. I bought the fifth edition of Harry Potter for me. It talks about the order of the series, fifth edition. So here fifth is the talks about the order, okay, order of the noun, clear? So, numerical adjectives talk about the order or they describe the number of nouns. Now, let us talk about the demonstrative adjectives. So, what are demonstrative adjectives? The definition, what is the definition of a demonstrative adjective? Demonstrative adjectives are words used to express the relative position of a noun in time or space, means they tell us whether it is closer or whether it is far from you or closer to you or whether it is in space, okay, whether it is far from you or it is closer to you, whether it is a singular or plural. So, this is what a demonstrative adjective tells you. If you look at an example, see you look here, this is my bag. Okay, so this bag is mine, you can say this bag is mine. So, here in this sentence, this Demonstrative adjective this describes the position of the bag that it is closer. Please give me that book. That tells us the position of the book that it is far away from you. So, here this shows near and singular this one bag. So, it is, it is used for singular and it is used for closeness, nearness and that is used for far and singular. We may also use these and those which talk about these talks about near and plural and those talks about far and plural. Okay children. So, uh, this is what is being explained in this video. In our next video, we will understand the other types of adjectives in detail. Okay, so for you for today your homework is complete the exercises given in your textbook which are related to the content that has been taught to you in this video. Thank you children and have a good time.